Hey everybody, it's Mucha Marapa from Matrix Global Media and creator of the Facebook Timeline Management Blueprint. And welcome to another FB Timeline review where I just sort of peel back the onion and uh, analyze, review, pass some recommendations and some suggestions to existing uh, fan pages that are out there. And in this week, we are reviewing the East Coast PC. Uh, fan page. Now, East Coast um, uh, PC is, uh, they're based in Lowestoft, so not too far away from where I live myself here in the UK. A uh, lovely place, and, and I think I always like to go to the website to start with just to give you an idea and an indication of the company and the gentleman uh, who, who, who runs it, who is the company, Stephen, um, has been very gracious in allowing me access to come through and review his page. So the first thing I always like to sort of cover with the timeline review is make sure that we are on track or on the same page with what the actual goals are for the fan page because this is absolutely massive. You know, if the goal is sort of just to have a community page where it's there for a sort of customer service platform, that's going to be different from what I actually teach in the blueprint because what I teach in the blueprint is you know, how you can design and optimize your page so you can really get the very most out of um, the, 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 the design using all the real estate as I like to call it. Uh, secondly, it's about growing fans. You know, you, you, you really want to, to grow your number of fans. You want to take them uh, and get as many fans as possible. But not only just fans, the right kind of fans. Uh, the next is I am very big on building an email list. I, I want an email. If you were to say to me, would you rather have uh, 15,000 fans and 100 emails or would you rather have you know, 1,000 fans and 250 emails, I would go for the 250 emails all day long. And then finally, we want to sell. We want to monetize. We want to show that it is, in fact, possible and should be a part of your key strategy to monetize your presence on timeline. So, uh, first of all, I, I think an overview, having analyzed Stephen's um, uh, offering, both for, via his website and his Facebook page, and more than that, just seen a lot of the comments, it's very clear that, 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 that this company is really sort of a champion for people as far as dealing with their IT problems. I mean, you look at some of the comments on the page here, and, you, and you'll find the page if you go facebook.com forward slash East Coast PC. Um, but just people just sort of wax lyrical about this guy and how happy they are with the job that he's done and stuff so that's always great it's great if you can come from a place of service and there are some sort of strategies and tactics that you can put in place to really ramp that up so the first thing I look at and, and I always sort of like talking about it uh, and I, I dedicated a, a specific section to it in the actual timeline itself is the need to Google Doodle your covers, and I always say that, and I'm just referring to what what Google do with their doodles. They they, they change the theme. They they make something really interesting through an image, and I click on to this uh, here. And although um, Stephen has seven um, uh, covers, they're not really. Uh, covers per se, bespoke covers, dedicated covers, and I think he's probably passing up on a bit of an opportunity there. Now, having had a look at the overall product itself, um, it uh, this is how comprehensive it is. Laptop and computer repairs, hardware upgrades. I'm not going to read them all, but you can see that there is an awful lot, and at the very bottom, there is even some web design that this company does. So what I would say is that the first thing is is that I would really sort of try and roll it out and get as many um, uh, covers relative to the offering. Okay, so once again, we've got laptop and computer repairs, we've got hardware upgrades, we've got health check, web and email hosting. There's a way that some covers can be completed here. It doesn't have to be anything flash, you know, but just put some thought into it because the significant thing about these covers, as I've said before, is that when you change them, you know, they show up in other people's news feeds and you can also add a call to action. So for example, if I go to my actual um, page, my, my own page here, and if I wanted to change my cover, because this was just for sort of the, the, the program uh, that I'm promoting, okay, so if I wanted to change my cover, and I will choose from some photos that are existing in there, I, I'm actually doing this the harder way, it didn't need to be this difficult, but this is the one here, okay. Now, uh, 
if I because I've already used this before but what this is this this was an offer where I was basically providing some free th thumbnails so these are the thumbnails that go down here at the bottom of the page underneath normally I was offering some free ones and if I save the changes and then I click on that information you can see you can actually write something as well so I've said do you use application tabs and I have put a couple of hyperlinks that will then take the person who clicks on to being able to sort of download these application tabs. There's a bit of um, talk from me where I'm saying it here. Hey everybody, it's Mucha Mara. So I'm offering it. So what I'm saying is that for so many of these products that Stephen has, right, if he did indeed change his covers, right, when he uh, changed the covers, he could click on and edit it in such a way where he puts a call to action with that cover. So when it shows in someone's newsfeed, it will have a link to a website where he'll be able to promote something and the one thing that really stands out to me here is like the computer tuition that he does I think that would be incredibly popular so to have a cover that says oh you know uh, specialists or lower stuff's number one computer tuition company something like that and then when you actually click that it could be edited up here where there is a link and you could actually receive more information or even book a computer tuition session so I'd really focus on Google doodling these covers here next um, I think that uh, this area here I speak about it an awful lot and it's quite contentious okay there is no sort of right or wrong way but there's certainly a way that I like to teach and because this is computer services computer training it's not allowing the ability to put in a web link here okay so once again when we go over to the timeline dimensions and it's like this with a lot of pages that I both sort of design for myself and for other people I really like to just put product or service here and then this enables me to, to write some information here and then there's a hyperlink now because Stephen has a website and he has some interesting pages on that website again I I would consider really consider just changing this to products and services and under here even if it was East Coast PC as an independent IT specialist so on and so forth but write something here with a call to action I think that would really make a big difference because this link here has proven to be the most clicked link on my timeline and for all the pages I do it just sort of gets clicked more than anybody else's so I would look to do that here Next, in the blueprint, I always talk about this area as a power line. And what I'm doing is I'm including this area here, which I've just explained, but also really utilizing this. Now, I suspect that the map is there due to the fact that it's been classified as this sort of company. But uh, again, it's a very, very um, uh, long and detailed process using these tabs. But we've got 12. OK, Stephen's currently using three. He's got nine more potentially that he could put down there. And it could be a number of things. It could be the products. It could be the services. It could be just integrating uh, his YouTube and his Google Plus and all the other things that he has via his website. But at the very least, I would like to see uh, an email opt-in here. And again, you know, gone are the days where I recommend just saying sign up for our newsletter. Is there something of value? Is there a coupon or a voucher? Um, I know he was running a special offer where he said, you know, half price off something. So maybe why not just put that here and say, um, download this coupon to receive half off your next um, uh, IT service or something like that. But, but, but be a bit more proactive and start, begin by putting a, a, a newsletter um, application here. Now, this is very easy to do. It can be done via MailChimp. If you just search for the MailChimp app, you'll have to open a MailChimp account. It's all free, so it won't cost you anything. And very simple. They have a ready-made app that you can literally put in a couple of clicks and it would be here. But I would most definitely put a newsletter tab over there. Okay. One other thing I would notice, I, I would want to put down for, for Stephen's page is um, he just seems like such a popular guy. I know I sort of um, went over this at the start. Um, and then if you also look at the Facebook page, there's just so many people saying some really, really kind things. Now, he does have the recommendations option. And this, I understand, is because of the classification that you have. So it's it's kind of swings and roundabouts sometimes. If you're going to have a different classification, it does allow you to have recommendations here because for example I couldn't do that for my products and services but this is the way we've worked around it and I did this for Moon's Cycles uh, we just went ahead and we created a testimonials um, uh, 
uh, Facebook comment very very easy to do uh, I'll talk to you about how you can sort of um, learn how to put the MailChimp application on there and the Facebook comments and all the other things at the end of this video but what we just basically did here was we applied a plugin uh, it's just taking a while to load up here where basically um, when somebody had bought a bike or Mike had sort of contributed with some sponsorship he's really into the community here uh, we just sent a link to them and we said look could you do us a favor please w would you mind going over to um, our testimonials page and just posting a comment and here it is here so we just went and we did that here so this is a testimonials tab continues to grow every time somebody comments it will show on their own uh, timeline so other people will say oh what's Dave speaking about or what was Carmel talking about or um, what was Thomas talking about so I would really sort of add that as well up here I would put the newsletter and I would also put a testimonials just so he can continue to sort of create that social proof although he does have that here yes I would still make that most definitely uh, up here because I just feel asking people to go there as part of the campaign would really serve him very very well next we start moving towards the posting and in the blueprint itself I talk about the posting as the sort of make or break of your campaign strategy and the one thing that really just sort of stands out to me here with Stephen's posting is I don't see enough images and given the fact that uh, his offering is so image friendly and image rich there are so many images that he could be posting here now the reason why I like to sort of look towards posting images here is I try and sort of put myself in in, in this sort of situation of people visiting the page an awful lot of people will visit this page from mobile devices and sometimes when they just see a lot of copy a lot of text like this it just doesn't have the same sort of snap out to it and the attention grabbing in their newsfeed as uh, having images were so I would most definitely put more images in there and secondly I would I would really take advantage once again when you look at all these uh, problems that he solves these transformations and the solutions the relief he can provide I really believe that this is a great opportunity to use images so let's like sort of virus and spyware removal you know get a photo of almost like remember Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone when he's just kind of going ah you know that big face and that you know find things like that just to say look you know getting stressed out about your viruses and spyware we can help you know hard hardware upgrades uh, PC tune-ups you can you know in the overalls with a thumbs up you know now look I'm, I'm just sort of just doing this off the cuff but yeah, take advantage of putting images in here I don't see enough images and I, I, I'm not altogether sure that that's working in his favor and <laughs> the one image he has put down is a raffle ticket and uh, Stephen if you win I hope that you're gonna buy me a drink mate uh, okay and then the other thing with the post I certainly would move more and more people away from timeline now I know that sounds a bit counterintuitive from what I'm teaching but don't forget this up here is rented space you know facebook.com forward slash East Coast PC whereas when we actually go to the website itself that is dub 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 and that's ECP help.com you can't actually see it here I didn't make enough space here but yeah you can see that at the bottom of the email so the big difference is is that this is rented space and so never forget uh, the importance of, of, of moving on off uh, timeline and onto your Facebook page I would add a couple of things onto this page I'd certainly put a blog on here so uh, this is where he can really sort of get deep and detailed about the knowledge he has you know 10 reasons why you need to uh, a PC tune-up you know three ways to avoid um, getting viruses and spy spyware you know why broadband and internet uh, can help you blah 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 you know I, I would just really use this as a resource center and that can be a bit of a follow-on from the things that have been posting um, I'd also like to see some milestones I, I, I think there's so many happy people and satisfied uh, folks on the back of what he does here I would really look to put some milestones on here uh, he even designed a website for somebody so for example here you know launching the website you know go ahead celebrate it you know do a milestone for that just saying oh created a website if you'd like that yourself you know but really yeah maximize the ability to post because as I said this is the make or break of your ability to monetize that content that you put there the, the the way you can communicate the solutions you provide and making sure you get people off your timeline onto your blog or into an, a list or, or doing something this is absolutely vital 
And then just the final thing here on the page is I would like to see Stephen just ask a little bit more for some interaction. And what I mean by that is due to that wonderful thing called edge rank, okay, um, you, you need to get likes, shares, comments on a regular basis. So every time that Stephen finishes, right, and, and you know, I mean, he did, he did share about the lottery ticket and surprise, surprise, you know, 11 people were up for it because, of course, why wouldn't they be? But I would just like to see Stephen just, just, just really you know you offer so much you bring so much to the table here I just think that you could get so much information that will allow you to formulate your entire offering just by asking some questions by asking them to share you know why don't you share your experience of, 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 of you know any time your computer went wrong on you or you know um, uh, click like if you feel that the broadband and the internet is such and such you know I, I again I'm just sort of brainstorming on the run here but I'd just like to see you just um, ask people to like, comment and share and then we can see the interaction that takes place here as far as people talking about it will increase. And it's not easy. I'll tell you that. You know, it, it, it tends to to be di dictated by the quality of your posts. So make it informative, make it emotive. But this is why by asking the questions you will get the information that you need. So just to summarize then, I've just got everything over here in one area here. First of all, I would Google Doodle the covers. And yes, Stephen, I would I would have as many as 12 covers. You you can just, um, I, again, on YouTube, this is a good time to, to, to sort of um, explain. Every single recommendation I've, I've made here is not only in the blueprint, which I'll talk to you about later, but I've also shot videos for it on my own YouTube channel, on the FB Timeline Marketing YouTube channel. So for Google doodling your covers, and there's something called a pick monkey uh, that you can go to. It's a free version uh, that, that you can just put some images in there. You can make some Facebook covers very easily and it won't cost you a penny. It'll probably take you an hour to do 12. Maybe it might take you a couple of hours, but have the ability to rotate those covers. Next, use those covers to campaign special offers. The thing that really stood out to me was that computer tuition, but there's all sorts of different things. Um, for one client, I even did a uh, Google covers of um, coupons and, and you know and said look we've now got coupons available so really just use those Google Doodle uh, use the covers um, to, 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 to create calls to action for things that you are actually selling alright consider optimizing the bus business category so you can have an, a hyperlink I'm just talking about this area here and you know what change it just just experiment I know some people have said no we can't do that and others have said well what happens here and that I'm just saying change it particularly if you put something here that's of, of, of value it could be a coupon it could be something else why on earth wouldn't you try doing something like that you know at uh, custom tabs at least get an email application tab and make it MailChimp that is free very simple to do consider putting testimonials as well on your um, uh, application areas there very easy to do you can just download uh, you put some code in there and then you just say to everybody listen just come to this link here will you please and post a testimonial then you're getting more and more social proof uh, think about the Twitter and the YouTube apps because you have them already on your site itself and your Google Plus it's very easy just to download those applications um, post more images please put more images but images of your products your services and as my, my mate Jeff Molander says you know of the, the problems that you solve yeah the relief that you provide the transformations that your product offering makes okay make those the images not of lottery tickets here okay uh, and, and and you know like the flowers that you did you could have put a really great image there of the flowers it would have been fantastic it looked great okay and then when you post make sure you link away from timeline uh, what I try and do here on my timeline dimensions I don't believe I might be wrong but I'll have to look I don't believe I put any links anymore that don't have a, a, a move away as you can see here all these links 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 here okay getting people to do something links all the time just getting people to do something and then likewise with the cover itself as well when I did that links 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 so make sure that uh, when you are posting images you, 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 you move them away and integrate your media you know send them to a LinkedIn company page if you've got it send them to your website to your blog uh, to the email opt-in form but get used to moving people away as well because uh, as much as we like to think everybody that likes our page sees every post they do not okay 
celebrate those small victories my friend you have got so many people who are very happy with the jobs that you've done you've created new offerings you've done things you know put them on milestones celebrate I tell you every time I get a hundred new likes every time I just get a hundred new likes I celebrate you know I put a big old uh, milestone there and um, always where, where, where was my last one there you go you see I always every hundred I do so find opportunities to, to celebrate and put these milestones and also milestones of your business when were you formed you know uh, have you got a new van have you got a new bit of equipment allow the milestones to, to tell your story and let people see that hey here's a guy who's just really sort of you know stayed the course and he, he, he is progressing uh, in line with the great offers that he is providing for us and then uh, finally I didn't actually mention this post a video from website directly onto your timeline so uh, there is a video there's some really good help videos some really good help videos here on your website and um, I just think that uh, as part of edge rank once again here we go we've got some videos there's a, there's a handful here there's also the YouTube channel and um, I would like to see you actually posting those here not putting links to them posting them because videos have shown to be second in importance only behind shares Facebook looks at that so if somebody uh, sees a video and they, they, they you know it has that impression on them it's a very very powerful way to uh, engage your fans so I'd like to see more videos on your timeline okay so uh, I hope you enjoyed that review and uh, all that I've left to really say is uh, let's connect if you go to www.fbtimelinemarketing.com you can sign up for some free training uh, you'll just go on there and lots of different bits of training this is always a timeline review this video but I've got so much training so you're, you're very welcome to do this if you would like to have your page reviewed go to fbtimelinereview.com you can leave your email you'll be on the list and, and I will also notify you every time that uh, there is a timeline review taking place because you really can learn from this I, I just want you to learn how to think your way through and know what options are available so um, you can sort of gauge yourself when other people come and say oh look let me do your timeline for you and you know what to do as opposed to being told what to do uh, I mentioned it before uh, we've got a YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash users forward slash FB timeline marketing loads of free video tutorials I add at least one video a week sometimes two but but most of the time one video a week everything I have discussed here is either on there right now or will be on there by the time you watch this video uh, because I like to just sort of give you the free information uh, we have got a LinkedIn group it's called FB timeline marketing Facebook timeline marketing so just go to Google and you put in FB Timeline Marketing Group, please come and join that group. It's where we can interact, share some best practice, and we can learn from one another. And then finally, if you really do want to take it to a whole nother level, um, I've got the Facebook Timeline Management Blueprint, which above everything else shows you how you can, once you've set up your page and done it correctly and optimized and designed it, it shows you how you can post seven days of great content in just one hour a week one hour of your time and um, it is currently going for 45 pounds uh, or 67 US dollars that's not going to last too much longer I've just got a few more to get then it's going to go up to 95 pounds or 147 dollars but you can find that at Facebook timeline management .com. so thanks very much for joining me for this review thank you to Stephen at uh, East Coast PC and uh, just really want to um, encourage you to keep learning keep looking to take this uh, timeline experience uh, to a stage where you can actually see that you are growing your list uh, you are gaining more and more fans and you are selling your products your programs and your services via timeline thanks for joining me look forward to speaking to you again very very soon